Today I'd like to tie for you Eric's Bass Assassin. This is articulated fly. This will be a bass fly. The hook I have in a vise is a Gamagatsu. This is a one ot, And this is split shot drop shot hook. You can pick these up at uh, Wally World. I'm going to tie the rear hook first. I'm going to use chartreuse thread. I'm going to get a base of thread down on the shank. We're going to start out by putting the tail on and the back hook is going to be connected to the front hook with a wire but it's also going to have a rabbit hair going from the back to the front. I'm not going to, it's going to be one piece. So this back hook, I want that to be well, the hide could be about one and a half to two times the length of the hook shank. You don't want it too long because you don't want it getting fouled around the hook. I'm going to start, I'm going to just tie that in. When you're using uh, rabbit hair, just lick your fingers and get a little bit of control on there. We're going to secure that with several good wraps right there. I want to keep that right on top. I'm going to pull this back out of the way. I'm going to wrap right in front of it. I get a good base on there. You want to get two to three layers of uh, thread for the base. And I'm going to bring this back to the butt in section. Now I'm going to take a chartreuse. This is a zonker strip, and here is cross cut. You can see the the hide is cut across the rabbit from side to side instead of head to toe and you have to find a piece we're going to wrap this so you want a piece that is going to go off to the rear just going to expose that and wrap that in nice and tight And I'm going to bring this thread up near the eye. I'm going to put some super glue right on the shank. If there's anything even left in this thing. There we go. Grab that and spread that out there a bit. I'm going to take the rabbit fur and we're going to wrap this and you want to wrap that tight and we're going to probably get three wraps out of it right, there's three we'll get one more got a skinny piece of hide here you want to keep the skinniest piece of hide. Pull that tight. Let that super glue grab a hold of it too. And we're going to go ahead and tie that. And I'm going to trim off that excess. Put that on the side for the front section. And I'm going to secure that. Come back there a little bit on it even. And 
I'm going to take that rabbit fur, take my brush or a comb and comb that all down to the sides. Bring that rabbit fur up through it. Pull that tight. And I'm going to divide that. I'm going to I'm going to advance my thread there just a little bit. Wet your fingers to get that under control. There's nice chartreuse with this black on there. I'm going to secure that. I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to wrap in front of it. And I'm going to tie it off there. I'm going to take this out of the hook, out of the vise. I'm going to put in a shank and I'm going to secure that. This is the eye. And when we're done, it's going to be like that. But I'm going to take I'm going to take the bead lawn 15,000s. This is plastic coated wire and I cut off about three and a half inches here I'm going to take my chartreuse thread once again and we're going to wrap the shank I'm going to take the wire and I'm going to leave the tag now well, maybe about half of the shank we're gonna secure that I get about halfway I'm gonna fold this over and fold that tight and then go over that so that way we know it's not going to pull off I'm gonna take three beads from here I got orange ones going to put them on the wire Now when we have that on, we're going to take the rear, we're going to take the hook for this one. I have to put it through going down. And this will be the bottom of the hook. We get it through there and we're going to put it back through the beads. We'll pull that up. Leave a little bit of uh, don't pull it tight. Leave a little loop there. I'm going to tie that onto the bottom side of the hook. Take the wire cutters and trim off the excess. I'm going to turn my vise sideways. I'm going to hold the hook back as far. I'm going to hold that back tight and I'm going to find my place, which is going to be around right there. I'm going to trim off this front. I'm 
and wrap that in nice and tight. Now I have a chartreuse sticky back foam. This is about 5 eighths wide. Just take your scissors and put a hole in it right in the center. Slide that eye through it. And then bring that back right to that tail. Now we can secure this. Make sure you secure that on top. I'm going to take big wraps. This is basically an articulated gurgle bug. Here we got the, the chartreuse cross cut once again. I'm going to just start tying that in real close to the end. And secure that piece of hair. Put a little slave on that hair to control it. I'm going to put some more super glue on there. I recommend super glue instead of head cement for when you're wrapping it. It's, it will secure that hide right to the hook shank. Just wrap that one wrap right in front of the previous. Bring that right up and we'll tie that off. Help make a space in there. There we go. Give it some good wraps there. And we could trim this off. Take my brush, I'm gonna pull the foam over, I'm gonna tie that in. couple of wraps right there I'm gonna bring that up to that eye I'm gonna fold this back and I'm gonna fold that forward about half of an inch let it stick to itself and then we're going to secure that there Take my scissors and trim off that excess. Just get that big piece out of the way first.
trim that away so we can secure it. There's still plenty of eye open. You can put 20 pound test in there if you want. Take the whip finish. Here we have Eric's Bass Assassin. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.